Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.2 Sri Bhagavan said, O Arjuna, what is the cause of your delusion at this crucial hour? This is not at all proper for an Aryan. It will neither enhance your reputation nor lead you to the heavenly planets. Sar Artavashini in this second chapter, Bhagavan Sri Krishna Chandra delineates the symptoms of liberated persons. He removes the darkness caused by lamentation and delusion by first giving the wisdom to discriminate between matter and spirit, the self. Kashmalam means delusion. Bijami means at this crucial moment or as the crisis of battle. Kutaha means what is the cause, and Upashtitam means it has taken shelter in you. The word Anarya Justam implies that this action would not be appropriate by noble or respectable persons, and Asvargyam Akirti Karam means that this action is unfavorable for the attainment of both mundane and transcendental happiness. Sar Ardavarshini Prakashika Riti Dhritarashtra was pleased to know that even before the battle began, religious sentiments had suddenly awakened within Arjuna's heart. Arjuna was expressing aversion to facing the battle by adhering to the principle of non-violence, which he considered the supreme form of religion, ahimsa paramo dharmaha. Dhritarashtra deliberated as follows. It would be greatly fortuitous for us if this battle does not take place, because my sons would then be permanent sovereigns of the kingdom, without any obstacle. However, he still inquired as to what happened next. Sanjaya, who was endowed with fine intelligence, could understand Tritarashtra's inner motive. Thus, he very expertly detected the inference of the blind king and crushed his hopes. He said, even after seeing Arjuna in such a condition, Bhagavan Sri Krishna has not neglected him. Rather, he will instill into the heart of Arjuna that same natural propensity to subdue the miscreants with which he subdued the miscreant Madhu and other demons. And to Arjuna, he will arrange the death of all your sons. Therefore, do not harbor any hope of attaining the kingdom without a battle. Sanjaya continued describing to Dhritarashtra the statements of Sri Krishna. To fight is the nature and religious duty of the Kshatriya class. Why, at this time of battle, are you becoming averse to your prescribed duty? By engaging in this battle, liberation, the heavenly planets and fame will be attained. To refuse a fight, a religious war, as is the practice of non-Aryans or uncivilized persons, is unfavorable for achieving these higher attainments. Furthermore, it destroys material happiness and fame.